Hi, this video explains how to boot CentOS Linux 7 installation using Anaconda and how to install CentOS Linux 7 RC version. I am going to boot system and install it over the internet using netboot method and I'm going to use VirtualBox for demonstration purpose. First choose install CentOS 7. You need to wait for some time. Linux is booting and now it's starting installer. What lang language would you like to use during installation? I'm going with English. This is unstable, unstable pre-release software. Yes, I want to install this unstable software. Okay, now first you need to set up network. Just click on network and host name. Turn it on Ethernet connection. And I'm going to type host name here. CentOS dash seven dash RC done. Click on done. Next, you need to set up installation source. This is only required for RC CentOS seven RC software. You need not to set. You do not need to set a mirror list for final version. So it's build logs dot centos dot org in this complete url and click on done this is again i repeat this is only required for pre-release software this is not required for final release okay then it's downloading package metadata then you need to select the device to install CentOS 7 these are different storage options okay now I need to set up software selection just click on software selection so it's divided into two group base environment and add-ons for selected base environment so we have genome desktop then KDE desktop then basic web server, file and print server, infrastructure server, server with GUI and different options. I'm going with genome desktop and you can select backup client, various application, internet applications, office suits, smart card support and so on. Just click on done button. okay now it's checking for software dependencies okay now I can click on begin installation button now I need to set root account password you need to enter a password for root user two times done click on done button then you need to create one more user I'm going to make this user administrator and again type password two times you can check for advanced user options okay save changes and click on done button okay starting package installation process and it started now total 1241 packages are there and it's installing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this package installation procedure and I'm going to jump to final few seconds of installation now okay so now we are almost done here installing last package remember I'm fetching from in from the internet this may take some time 
okay now it's performing post installation setup task on my system and now it's installing installing bootloader creating final kernel images and within few seconds I should get final confirmation message on screen still generating images compressed images required to boot this system okay okay it's running post installation script CentOS is now successfully installed on your system and ready for you to use go ahead and reboot to start using it so I'm gonna press reboot button all right putting CentOS 7 okay I need to accept license I accept the license agreement click on done button all right and click on forward okay kdump is a kernel crash dumping program I do not need kdump so I'm gonna disable kdump all right and I need to reboot the system the system must now reboot for some of your selection to take effect okay okay now I'm booting CentOS Linux desktop for the first time CentOS Linux 7 server desktop okay click on the username enter password okay so this is default welcome screen okay English next input source again English next I can connect to various cloud based account like Gmail okay start using CentOS Linux server by default it will open genome help on screen just gonna close this now let's take a quick tour of CentOS so this is my home folder I can browse the network or I can connect to server using SMB protocol or FTP SFTP protocol okay I'm gonna open setting and I'm gonna change background I'm gonna set up a new background Let's click on select and go back okay let's find out network settings okay wired connection is turned on I can add additional network corrections like VPN bridging VLAN etc click on details to get details about system ok so this is CentOS Linux Server 7 don't worry that broken will go in final release that's my CPU and let's close this and open I'll open the terminal application I'm gonna open the terminal application these are different software installed by default let's see first see system monitor so processes are there resources I'm using around 500 memory this is my file system and go on application okay here is the terminal application so I'm simply gonna run few commands like ls cpu to list cpu then i'm going to list free and used memory then top command and 
one more command I'm going to run. I'm going to run tf command to see. Okay, file system. My default is ext4, and you can set. Okay, let's find out kernel version. So I'm using Linux kernel version 3.10. Okay, so I'm gonna shut down this demo by issuing shutdown command. I hope you enjoyed this demo.